Hello and welcome to a new video about applications of control mechanism. We learned something about the eye controller. And now? Well, you should meanwhile know this. Yeah? There is a separate video where I explain my system. Yeah? And yeah, I will use the same system again. So currently we try to control the temperature of this here. How this is working with this... Uh, Peltier element, yeah, I'll explain, I have explained in another video. You can watch this about the switching controllers, application of the switching controllers. Again, I am using my Arduino and now this Arduino is realizing an eye controller. Yeah? So we are, we are reacting on the difference between the set point and the actual value. Okay, so Again, we are recording this. Yeah? So this is currently the status. Yeah? The temperature has 23.0 degrees Celsius. Air temperature also 23.0. Uh, the set point, if I press the set point button, it will go to around 45 degree. And the heat sink here is also 23. So everything is settled. Yeah? Same temperature. Yeah, I would suggest to start. Yeah? I have selected a TI simply something right now. Uh, let's see how this is working. Start. Uh, and here, this FB, this is right now, this is, this is uh, the, the correcting variable. And you see the correcting variable is rising. Uh, you see it is rising here, like we are expecting, because it's an I element. Yeah? The, right now, the difference, the controller difference, the deviation between the set point, which made a jump, and the actual value, this red line here, this remains almost constant, so the rays is also almost constant. Yeah? So, and you now see, aha, uh -huh, the temperature is reacting. This is because we are getting more and more heat, and also the LED, you know, it now varies in brightness, simply, yeah, to indicate how much percent of the possible power we are already we are already producing so currently we are at around 25 percent and the heat the temperature is starting to rise but you notice at the beginning there's not a lot of things are happening yeah so in the beginning an eye controller does nothing over time when the the summarized deviation yeah is has a reasonable value it will start to grow eh? what is happening now and we should now notice that the gain is not that high anymore yeah? because whatever the, the, the deviation is getting less yeah? and the deviation uh, will be added yeah? and so this will not be as steep anymore yeah? so we will see that this is simply slowing down this growth of the of the correcting variable if i have a too much uh, time yeah, it will grow to a too big value and we will see an overswing well, we're pretty eager to know currently from what I have seen from this, from this with this dead time and so on, I think we will see an overswing. I think we are too high already. But we will see. Yeah? You see, you need to be patient when using an eye controller. There is not much happening at the beginning. But uh, I currently know ooh, this probably is too much. You see how this is reacting there. But we can at least see it's really nice that it's slowing down. Huh? However, it's still growing huh? because we are still approaching, we are still approaching the, the value. And now we are beyond the value. Huh? And now we'll start to decrease. Huh? Now the eye controller finally realized 
oh, this was too much. Yeah? So it will go down again with the heating. Yeah? Now the controller deviation is in the other direction, so it will go down. Yeah? But also not too fast, yeah? because the deviation is not that big. Yeah? We will see a huge overswing there. However, you see the temperature is already slowing down, so the, the growth rate of the temperature is reduced. Finally, or at least something. Huh? This is a TI value. I don't know exactly. I think 0 0.5 or something like this. Much too, too much. Too much. Also, too aggressive, yeah? too short integration time. Already 55 degrees. Would be nice for a tea or something like this. Cocoa. Of course, this will also now lead to, to some underswing. Yeah? We'll see. Meanwhile, the temperature is reducing again. It's good. I'm pretty sure it's stable, uh, because I'm pretty sure we'll see if we would now reach zero output again. Hmm, this is not stable at all. Uh, but I hope we are not reaching zero again and we will start to grow afterwards. So we will swing, over swing and then gently reduce the swinging over time. Now we're going below again and this will start to raise, rise and yeah, hopefully the swinging will get less and then we reach the final value. There's a typical example of what is happening if the TI value is too short, if the integrational part is too aggressive. Huh? Even, you see, it's going very slow but steady. Once it is in movement, it will also... Yeah? So, I will stop this experiment now. Yeah? I will reduce the, the integrational part. I will, the TI value I will make longer simply. Yeah? And then we have a second look at this and see how this is working. Meanwhile, I will let this cool. Yeah? Okay, now I changed TI by factor 10. TO by factor 10. Okay. I changed the, the integrational time by factor 10. If we're talking about Ki, I would reduce it by a factor 10. Yeah. So let's see how this is working now. I will again trigger the set point book, yeah, and see what is happening. And we see since I've changed this uh, to slower speed, also the rise is really slow now uh, compared to what we have seen before. Right now we only have 1% of the output. Uh. So it's reacting slower at the beginning, that's for sure. Uh. This is actually what is good for us because if it's reacting slower we would have time to, uh, we would then have time to break. Uh. So we are not accelerating too fast. Uh. But you see it's already reacting. It seems like the temperature is already rising. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is now really slow, right? But maybe it's necessary for this for this application. Now 
the reaction is really slow, right? We see it has an effect. Yeah? Maybe something in between would have been better. Yeah? This will for sure not overswing. This will just slow down and that's it. Yeah? But it's more crawling than regulating. Yeah? This is not good either. So first I used 0 0.5. Now I used 5. So let's select for the next try something in between. Let's say 2.5. See what is happening there. Okay, well let's cool it down again, then we see. Okay, next try. Yeah. Trigger, 45 degree. Book. Integration time now, 2.5 seconds. Seems that it's reacting faster now. Doesn't look too bad, I would say. Still a little bit slow. I think we are getting there. Maybe a little bit too too slow, like that. Maybe a little bit too slow, but. At least now we will see the first time how it reaches the end, okay? Screen save. Okay, now you see, now it's really accurate trying to reach the limit and so on there's nothing much changing right now in the in our correcting variable this will increase a little bit we are almost there only 0 0.3 degree difference now 0 0.2 0 0.1 now we're there see even now with produce a little overshoot and now we should see that this this uh, this correcting variable is again reduced a little bit because now we are actually above already 0 0.2 degree ah it is already reducing 28.6564 see now it's reducing yeah? So even this was already a little bit too much. Yeah. And you see really how slow this reacted, especially at the beginning and so on. And with this, with this time delay, it is not that easy. Now it's reducing again. Let's wait a little bit uh, to see if it finally reaches. Okay. Copy this. Add it to our TI equals 2.5. Overshoot. One degree too much. In the meantime, we could discuss also what our findings. Uh, so let's have a look what we what we just saw. Mm. So this was our first try. This was TI 0 0.5. We produced a massive overswing even in the first 10, 10 minutes. Yeah. So this was reacting simply too fast. Yeah. Then here this crawled and I said TI 5 maybe it's too slow. And now 
our last drive was this, yeah, 2.5, there we had produced a little overshoot, yeah, much less than with 0.5, yeah, but we still have, yeah, but it looks exactly like I've shown you in this one video where I explained the, the eye controller, yeah, so this is actually how it looks like, yeah, and those things will happen if an eye controller is too slow, yeah, or too fast. Yeah? These are the things which will happen. Yeah, you see, at least it's stable, it will now drop very slowly to, to the set point and then it will keep, okay? Anyway, at the beginning it is too slow. Yeah? I will try exactly this also with a PI controller. Okay? So with a combination of, of a P and a I controller to, to, to make it in the beginning faster and in the end slower. Yeah? In the end we want to be accurate, this should be the I part. At the beginning we want to be faster it will be the P part. Yeah? There will also be an application video for this. So for this integrational controller, I controller, I hope you better understand now how it is working. Yeah, and thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.